Today was our third to last day until Santiago. We walked with different friends throughout the day and tried to soak up the last bit of time we had with them and the Camino. Good morning. It's day 30 of our Camino de Santiago. We are walking today from Palas de Rey to Arthua. Starting the morning out with a crisp walk through the Galician forest, which the forest from Palas de Rey to where we are now, we're about six or seven kilometers out of there, is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. We got a late start today, but the place we stayed was about five, five kilometers on this side of Palas de Rey. So it was okay to get a late start because we walked part of this yesterday. Forest is just beautiful. It's in the 40s this morning. So we're wearing most of what we have. We'll take a little bit off at a time during the day. Yesterday we never got below jackets. It just never warmed up. 60 kilometers to Santiago. I believe we have arrived in Melide. Beautiful bridge. 54. It says this is a medieval bridge over the Rio Turelos. It looks very medieval. It's a, this is one of the marvels of the Camino de Santiago. Obviously, it's been significantly renovated, but this is a famous bridge. A lot of these bridges and some of the, that go into some of these cities, these bridges are the reason these cities exist. Because somebody put the money in to build a bridge over this river, and therefore, a town was built up around it because everybody crossed the river here, all the pilgrims. So even though there are plenty of pilgrims out, this is not actually the high season for the Camino. We are walking it in June and spring and fall are the most common times. Oh, saw a cat. All right, this looks like a spot that has our name on it. For second breakfast, we've walked seven. No hurry today, so we might as well get something to eat. Eight. Euros. Chocolate cake, coffee, fresh free lunch, juice for two, eight euros. Do you wonder why nobody loses weight on the Camino? Now you know. We are in Melide, which is one of the modern cities that the Camino walks right through so far given us kind of a tour of town. I think we're passing every old church in town. The Camino's lined with pulpo restaurants. That's octopus. That's a specialty of Melide. So we remember walking through here on the Primitivo. We just think we missed the nicest part of town. Yeah, I remember walking through here too. I took your video walking past that church. I think I'll do it again. For me. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Mr. Buen Camino. Like I know who's pretty. There are a number of places like this all along the Camino. To the right, we've got the main 
course, it's got the how many kilometers to Santiago, 50.5. And to the left is a complimentary route. Um, you can see the, the path that they're going to go. The red route, that's the regular, we're going to take that. It says it's recommended. But there's also another route that's going to go through the town of Peñas. If you want to take that, it doesn't really look any longer. But anyway, there's a lot of decision points. There are times when we've taken the complimentary because it was prettier. So, looks like we're going to go over a beautiful bridge it's showing us on the sun. We wouldn't want to miss that anyway. Step in that. How could you step in that puddle? You could step anywhere else on the whole trail. Well, I was walking here and I was looking something and I stepped like that. So I didn't actually touch the puddle. I was sitting here talking about the beauty of the trail. Yeah, how you slip. There's no other puddle. Molly, uh, I, I should... It was not me, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I should make you aware there's a puddle here. The actual puddle. I just stepped, almost got an axe. Yeah, you're not uh, muddy. Not oh my God, this is so beautiful. Yeah, you're very left, just inside, man. Yeah, very conscious also. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. The forest this morning. It was unbelievable. Well, we walked that yesterday afternoon because we stayed along the way, but that forest was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The smell. Yeah. You can't bring the smell to somebody else. You can you can take a picture, but you can't share the smell. You can only describe. Huh? That's right. But when I get How home, how would you describe this? Well, eucalyptus, but if you never right uh, have uh, uh, it's very crisp. No, you don't know how happy. Yeah. Maybe a little bit mental. No, you have to know what's mental. Yep. And the and the eucalyptus candle is not the same. No, no. After we did the Camino last year, we bought eucalyptus soap, eucalyptus candle, <laughs> everything. Yeah, you want to keep it. Try to make our house smell like that, which it did not, because they put too much perfume in there. And that smells too strong. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just isn't quite right. Yeah. Then you have to blow out one of the ten candles. Yeah. Oh man, this is awesome. We're going slow today. Yeah, me too. No, the first uh, 14 kilometers I went quick. Yeah. Now I also slow down. You know why? Because it's almost over. <laughs> we don't like want I. to have it. Are you, go are you walking to Finisterre? Yeah. I yeah. There's a large number. My husband and daughter started a little piece of that walk today. Okay. One of our days we're going to walk 31. That's a lot if you haven't been walking yes. so they're gonna do half of that today they're doing it right now I hope it is yeah because you feel like this like a special environment yeah look who's coming my backpack buddy hello Molly and Jennifer are cat buddies. <laughs> Jennifer's not going to have any meat on her sandwich. <laughs> We are at the Aleman Beer Garden. We remember it from last year. It's such a pretty place. We don't know if Gavin stopped here. I don't see him. Oh, my Camino. Tomorrow we're gonna get up early. 
get out in front of that. Plus, we have a long day tomorrow. We have been making a long climb into Ribariso. Basically switchbacks. Pretty steep. And when we get there, we're going to celebrate with lunch and the bathroom. So there's no better way to celebrate on the Camino. And drinks. Lunch, drinks, and the bathroom. Pop into the Maison Ribeiso. Perfect. We are making our way into our through it, 4.15 in the afternoon, along a very noisy road, full of tour buses and 18 wheelers. For a while there it was so loud we couldn't hear what each other was saying, but uh, now we're really getting into town. We're approaching the Arthua letters, where we will take our picture. You can follow our progress looking at the blue line across the center of this map. We're just two days away. Every step we take towards Santiago feels reluctant as we don't want this amazing adventure to be over. We're eating all of our favorite Camino foods and adding in some Galician delicacies that we love. We've reached this stage of the Camino where every time we see one of our friends, we worry it might be the last time we see them. Thankfully, we'll always have cows. And cats. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.